This week on Council Bluffs News, community members come together to show support for Fallen Pond County Sheriff's Deputy Mark Burbridge. The 12-year veteran laid to rest on May 8th. Local reaction coming up. The overwhelming response to the tragic death has been amazing, and it's thanks to the people of Council Bluffs. Celebrate CB just around the corner. Details on what you can expect. And coverage of an event helping the less fortunate. How Laundry Love spreads goodwill and provides resources. That and more, all on this week's Council Bluffs News. Welcome to this week's Council Bluffs News. I'm Craig Carlson. Stickers, signs, and a simple blue line. The Council Bluffs community displaying their support this week following the death of Pottawatomie County Sheriff's Deputy Mark Burbridge. As IWTV student Daniel Ziegler explains, Burbridge is a hero that will never be forgotten. Sometimes when tragedy strikes, shock, just complete shock and sadness, it brings people together. You know, the, the sense of outreach and gratitude is really overwhelming. Pottawatomie County Deputy Mark Burbridge was shot and killed Monday, May 1st during a prisoner escape. I think in whatever community that you're in, whether it's large or small, you don't expect something like this to happen. And when it does, it makes you take a step back and take a breath. Saturday, May 6th, Hoy Kilnoski Funeral Home holds a visitation open to members of law enforcement. Well, just a time to come together. Law enforcement from all over the region are there just to lend their support to our fellow officers, certainly our brothers and sisters at Pottawatomie County, and just to let them know that we're here together with them. We're grieving with them. Since the shooting that also left Deputy Pat Morgan wounded, the community has responded with grief, love, and compassion. I hope the family can find some comfort. I hope his coworkers and those that are in law enforcement can find some comfort in knowing that we care and this touches all of us. Throughout the week, members of the community have visited Pottawatomie County Sheriff Office, placing flowers, balloons, and flags on this cruiser to express their sorrow and condolences. Times of sadness and times of tragedy, you know, the, the, the public reaching out to us, acts of kindness to us really is overwhelming. It means the world to us. Sunday, May 7th, a public visitation brings in hundreds. And it has a huge impact. It's not just a small little isolated group of people that are affected. Camera feeds show the funeral service Monday, May 8th at the Mid American Center, followed by a procession of approximately 1,000 vehicles heading back to Hoy Kalnowski and then Mark Burbridge's final resting place. As the community remembers Mark, members of law enforcement are reminded of the inherent dangers of their job. Most days we come home to our family safe and secure, but it's days like last Monday that reminds us again of the uh, of our own mortality. Burbridge was a 12 year veteran, a husband and father of three children. He was just 43 years old. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Daniel Ziegler. The community has certainly come together following Burbridge's death. Although it's never easy to move on, it is important to recognize the people around us. Celebrate CB 2017 comes at a great time to do just that. IWTV student Mike Simmons has more. The annual tradition that has been going on since the 1970s. It's a family event and we want everyone to come out. And it's just around the corner. This is our one community event to come and celebrate and just for all of us to um, say how great CB really is. Friday, May 12th, Celebrate CB 2017 will kick off with Celebrate at the River. We will have a beer garden, food vendor, and taxi driver will be our band for a free concert that night from 7 to 10, so we invite everyone to come down. And a barbecue cookout will also be on hand. We are um, very excited this year because we are one of the only 20 locations throughout the country to host the Great American Cookout. This year's Celebrate CB theme is 
just getting started. A nod to the growth the city has seen and will continue to see in the future. And just as the week is starting. Tuesday we have clean sweep right here in um, Bayless Park is where the headquarters for that is, but we'll be cleaning throughout the entire city. More food will be on hand to thank volunteers for their effort. Our mayor and some of our um, city council will be cooking hamburg hot dogs in the park after that to celebrate and thank the community for coming out to cleaning for that. As usual, a carnival will once again be part of the week's fun beginning on May 17th but Celebrate CB is saving the best for last. And Saturday is the big day, busy day here at Bayless Park. We have the parade that starts at 1030 in the morning. And then after the parade, we invite everyone back to the park for a carnival. Tons of free children's activities, free band in the park for music and food vending as well. So individuals are once again encouraged to celebrate fun, celebrate food, and celebrate CB. There are so many things for the families and the community to just come out and do and celebrate. CBTV 17 will air the parade live from City Hall May 20th at 1030 a.m. For a complete list and information on all the week's activities, visit CelebrateCB.com. For your Council Bluffs news, I'm Mike Simmons. Arbor Day began in Nebraska City, Nebraska in 1872. This year, Council Bluff City officials do their part to participate. IWTV student Ben Smith begins our coverage in News Around the Bluffs. Friday, May 5th, the Council Bluffs Parks Foundation continues the beautification process in Fairmont Park. Four trees are planned as part of a plan to restore the park. Well, I think it means more today than it probably did two years ago. You know, this was our premier park at one time, and... Um, kind of got lost and so uh, through the leadership of Larry Foster and the Parks Department we've tried to bring back Fairmont Park little by little. Planning of the trees was originally scheduled to take place on Arbor Day before getting pushed back a week. With clear skies and sunshine the wait appears to be well worth it. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Ben Smith. An annual adoption event helps pets find a loving home. IWTV student Ben Addison has more. May 6th, PetSmart hosts an event featuring nine different rescue organizations. Cats are on display, but mainly this event is about man's best friend, as a number of dogs are adopted out. Leading the effort, the Star Project, a rescue organization based out of Lincoln. So this event is held um, several times a year um, on behalf of PetSmart, um, and it's just to create awareness. You know, there are millions of animals that are euthanized every year. Um, the only problem is that they don't have a home. The drive actually spanned three days, ending on Sunday as a part of National Adoption Weekend. For your Council Plus News, I'm Ben Addison. Exploration begins from reading and understanding. IWTV student Jalen Hinkle has more on how local authors are sharing their creativity. The Council Bluffs Public Library hosts a semi-annual local author fair May 7th. This fair features authors from Council Bluffs and the surrounding area. We have seven different people or groups um, that have written books here to tell the community that they are an author and that they have these books and how they've written them and how they've published them and how it's a good book to buy. Everything from fantasy, mystery, and nonfiction are on display during the two-hour event. It gives them an opportunity to tell others, hey, I've written a book, and it's been published. Although the event brings local authors into the spotlight, it also serves as an attendance generator for the library. It gives the local author exposure, uh, name recognition, and hopefully we drive some traffic uh, into the library for, for their purposes, too. They, they're in the business of loaning books. The locally authored books were available for purchase at the fair, but every one of them is also available on Amazon. For more information, visit councilbluffslibrary.org. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Jalen Hinkle. Still to come on Council Bluffs News, how laundry, food, and local resources are helping the less fortunate. And of course, we'll wrap up the show with our weekly events calendar. Okay, it's decision time. I want to experience a four-year college in two years. I want to live on campus, but get to my career faster. I want to get started now. Find your path at iwcc.edu 
and get hands-on, real-world experience. Start now at Iowa Western. Everything starts out small. The things that hurt us, they all start from somewhere. The words we say, the things we do, they can grow into something else. What was small and innocent can become big and sometimes scary. All it takes is one comment, one picture, one video for something to catch fire. But a big problem doesn't need a big response. Not at first. Even if we don't know what to say, the eye emoji can be that first step we take. Let's all pledge to take that first small step together and change the world in a big way. I'm a witness, and so are you. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water too. That'll probably help. You were probably gonna turn down the radio too, so you could focus, right? Probably okay isn't okay. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. Got a Schedule your campus visit today. Iowa Western, the world is waiting. Helping someone else can come in the form of a number of different gestures. As IWTV student Bowen Peterson explains, laundry and love are making an impact in Council Bluffs. Thursday, May 4th, the fourth annual Laundry Love event takes place at the Wash Days Laundromat in Council Bluffs. We're doing folks' laundry for them free of charge. We've got laundry detergent and quarters. This nationwide project helps the less fortunate in the community by giving them free laundry for a day. Trying to free up a little money for families and individuals in our community that might be struggling a little bit. Jessica Raymond, a volunteer for Laundry Love, says it feels good to give people a helping hand. There's a lot of people, too, that go without even getting their laundry taken care of. Because sometimes when things, um, when you're short of money, uh, laundry is maybe not the highest priority. People who come for the free laundry also got to take home some supplies as well, like detergent, shampoo, soap, and more. It's a great opportunity for us to come alongside them and help support them in that. For some who don't have the chance to do their laundry every day, it means a lot to be able to have clean clothes. And hopefully we'll keep doing it once a year. It'd be great if uh, somehow we could do more, but that's what we're doing right now. 
For the Council Bluffs News, I'm Bowen Peterson. Time now for our weekly events calendar. May 12th, grab the clubs and hit the links at the Swinging for Smiles golf outing for Family Inc. The four-player scramble takes place at Shoreline Golf Course in Carter Lake. Registration at 11 a.m. with a shotgun start at 12.30. Cost is $90 per person or $360 for a four-person team. Participants will be treated to dinner in the clubhouse following the event and a chance to win a 2017 vehicle lease from McMullen Ford. The following morning, a great opportunity to hit the trails for a day of volunteer service. May 13th, from 8 a.m. to noon, volunteers and staff at Hitchcock Nature Center will head out into the park to do active restoration. Staff will provide tools, but those that have bow saws or loppers are encouraged to bring them along. To ensure proper staffing and supplies, please register in advance at podcoconservation.com or call 712-545-3283. Also taking place May 13th, Iowa Western will introduce their latest group of graduates at the spring commencement. Help congratulate the hard work of many at 10 a.m. at Canesville Arena. If you're unable to attend, you can watch the ceremony live on CBTV 17 and CBTV17.com. Thank you for tuning in and watching this week's Council Bluffs News. We'd love to hear from you. Comments or story ideas, email us at cbtv at iwcc.edu or call 712-325-3312. On social media, we're on Facebook and Twitter. Search CBTV17. And for the latest on local sports, be sure to check out J.J. Davis and the Bluffs Sports Zone. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Craig Carlson.